Welcome to learning math skills with Kashif with another lecture that is the third lecture of your topic basic geometry. So in previous two lectures you learn about the angles, types of angles, what is a angle of a straight line, what is a perpendicular angle and what are complementary angles and supplementary angles. So just in a few minutes we will revise first our previous knowledge then we will start our today's topic. So what is an angle as you know this is your angle okay and that is your vertex and that is your called angle side or you can say arm of an angle. So the other thing is angle at one point the sum of angle is 360. At one point the total angle is 360. We measure the angles in degrees. Angle of a straight line is 180 right and that is the right angle and that is a 90 degree. If two lines are perpendicular at each other then it may they are making 90 angle that is called perpendicular or that is called right angle okay one more thing you learn that if two lines are intersecting each other at a point then opposite angles means vertical angles are equal this angle if this angle is a this angle is b then a angle is equal to angle b similarly angle c is equal to angle d so i hope you know these things and you did these questions the regarding these questions these definitions in the previous your homework so let's start our today's topic so now we start our today's topic with what are the parallel lines as you studied in the junior classes the two lines in a plane if they never intersect each other or never meet such as if i draw these two lines these two lines are parallel means they never meet with each other so such lines are called parallel lines so now what comes here new thing to you if a line if a line cuts these two parallel lines if a line cuts these two parallel lines we call it transversal we call it transversal line so this is one line i name it these lines this is this is a b this line is C D, this line is E and F. So E F is a transversal which cuts the two parallel lines at point. I name it O and L. O and L. So now you are looking here how many angles are there making? How many angles are there? This is an angle, this is another angle, this is another angle. This is another angle. So similarly, we have four angles here, right? So now, what are the more uh, angles, types of angles are making here? First of all, look here. What is corresponding angles? What are corresponding angles? So similarly, if you look here, if a line cuts here, so this angle, suppose this angle is 1, this angle is 2, this angle is 3, this angle is 4 and that is 5, 6, 7, 8. I gave it to numbers. Now you easily understand what are the different types of angles are making here. So first one is angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So these two angles are called corresponding angles. Similarly, angle 3 is equal to angle 4 angle 3 is equal to angle 4 these is, these are also corresponding angles if you look on the other side angle 5 will be equal to angle 7 angle 6 is equal to angle 8 so these are the four pair of corresponding angles right so what are the next next is alternative angles alternative angles are in inner side of the parallel lines and the alternative angle are like a, if I color this one, you can easily understand. 
and the second one is this one. So these two angles are called alternative angles means angle 3 and angle 7. These two angles are called alternative angles. Similarly, angle 2 is equal to angle 6. These are also alternative angles. What is this angles? That is corresponding angles, right? Angle 2 is equal to angle 6. That is your alternative angles, right? Understand? What are corresponding angles? What are alternative angles? Now the third thing that is interior angles. So what are interior angles? Interior angles are inner angles on the same side of the transversal means the same side angles like these these two angles are called interior angles and sum of interior angles always is equal to 180 means what are the angles here angle 3 and 2 so angle 3 plus angle 2 that is equal to 180 degree similarly if you look on the other side of the line to what angles are there interior angles on other angles angle 6 and angle 7 that is also a interior angles so sum of 6 plus 7 that is also equal to 180 so what you learn we you learn about corresponding angles about alternative angles about interior angles and about vertical angles you already learned so these alternative angles are equal, these corresponding angles are equal. So we will use these properties to solve some geometrical questions. So first uh, look some uh, interesting things. You are writing alphabets uh, from your nursery class. So we are going to find these types of angles in your alphabets. Look here. If I draw F, if I draw F, that is your F. So what are the two parallel lines here if I draw this is your parallel line this is also your parallel line and if I now this is your transversal bisects the two parallel lines so what are the corresponding angles here so this is your corresponding angles right is that okay similarly there, there is also a corresponding angles if we extend these lines look at another example if I have draw here uh, Z. Okay. Now these two lines are parallel, right? And this is your if I for your understanding, I extend these two lines. Now these two parallel lines and this is your transversal. Okay. So what uh, what angles are you founding founding here? Alternative uh, corresponding angles are always there. So what type of these angles you just learn? These angles are alternative angles, right? Now, the third one is interior angles. So, if I draw here C like this, this is your C. So, again, these two lines are parallel and this is your transversal. So, what are the interior angles? So, these two angles are interior angles. So, now it's clear what are the corresponding angles? What are alternative angles what are vertical angles and what are interior angles so by keeping these four types of angles their definitions in our mind we will solve some questions from your exercise these questions are very interesting no longer calculations just you have to know the knowledge about this definitions you have to understand these things what are the these type of angles then you are very easily do these sums so let's start some sums from your textbook now so i draw some questions from your practice now and your exercise 10 b so let's start first look at this question these are two parallel lines and these two are the transfer transversal so first we will consider only look at this considerable just ignore this only look at this transversal that is your parallel lines that is your transversal so what type of these angles what type of these angles these are your corresponding angles so it means this angle is equal to this angle so it means it's very easy that a is equal to 
54 degree and what you write here you will write here corresponding angle right that is the reason you have to give to the to your teacher that you have the complete understanding of this answer so now come to this transversal that is okay from there now we come to this transversal ignore this one now just consider and look at this transversal so what type of these two angles these two type are the interior angles so what we condition learn you learn that sum of two interior angles equal to 180 means angle c plus 106 degree that is equal to 180 degree so how can you solve this simply you will move it and subtract that c is equal to 180 degree minus 106 degree and your answer is 74 degree and you will write here that is internal angles okay now we will get c that is 74 degree right so now what is b what is b that are the vertical angles right they are intersecting so these are same means angle b is also 74 degree right and what you write here you will write here vertical angles now the last thing we have to find that is d so how can you find d there are two three ways that is you uh, it is also a supplementary angle so you can subtract that from 106 uh, uh, from 180 you will get d the other way is what type of these two angles these two angles are corresponding angles so it means angle d is equal to that is also 74 and you will write here corresponding angles i write in short way you can write it complete way or you can also write this short name for the corresponding alternative and vertical angles clear to know now you so now come to this question that is from your exercise so look here which two lines are parallel first this which two lines are parallel these two lines are parallel and first we will consider this is a your transversal okay so this angle is equal to this angle what type of these angles angle f is equal to this angle which what type of these angles if they are the opposite sides of the transversal then it is a type of alternative angles means f is equal to this complete angle so what you write here angle f is equal to 35 plus 31 that is 66 degree and what is this that is alternative angles right okay now this is your parallel line okay and this is your transversal right this is these two are parallel lines and this is your transversal so what is this angle e is equal to angle 31 why because they are the alternative angles so angle e is equal to angle 31 degree so these two angles you have to known and we find the answer okay now come to these questions first look at this question how can you solve this question what are your parallel lines these two are parallel lines right and this is your transversal this is also your transversal and this is also your transversal if you consider this is your transversal so it means angle 60 is equal to angle j and what type of angle these are these are also alternative so angle j is equal to 60 degree clear so now what is i if i extend this one so now this is your interior angle and the other angle is this is that is also your interior angles so how can you find that sum of these two angles must be equal to 180 so what will be your equation that is i plus 75 plus 60 that is equal to 180 degree so i plus you can solve it that is 135 degree is equal to 180 degree you will move on this way and it will come subtract minus and if you um, subtract it you will get your answer right what is your answer your answer is 45 degree so that's all from this question now come to this question so 
in this question first you have to find what are the your parallel lines in this question these are the parallel lines these are the parallel lines these are the parallel lines these are the parallel but in this question these are your parallel lines how you know the parallel lines you know by this arrows by these arrows you know these are the parallel lines it means this is your transversal right so that are your parallel lines and this is your transfer uh, transversal so angles opposite to your transversal what type of angles these are these are alternative angles so it means angle g is equal to angle 83 angle g is equal to 83 and what type of angle is this one that is alternative angles right okay now come here this is your second transversal this is your second transversal which cuts the parallel line here so what type of these angles these are corresponding angles because they are the same side of the transversal so angle h is equal to angle 69 degree and that is your corresponding angles so students i hope you enjoyed today's lecture geometry is very interesting subject if you have interest and how can you make your interest by practicing these question and by reading these definitions these concepts right so do practice these questions stay tuned till next lecture bye